Hi everyone, thank you so much for being here. I'm at Birmingham on a boat in an artist residency. I'm going to show you how an art residency looks like. By the way, don't bother about my raincoat, it's just drying because it's raining because we are in England. So when you when you are in an art residency, the first part is what you should do. Well, eventually this is my first artist residency, but this is what I think, what I should do. So first of all, you understand the city with a lot of walking, with a lot of watching, watching the people, watching the city structure, watching everything, writing down everything and documenting everything with photo, with video. This is what I do. Watch these cabs, they're really awesome. And this is a church, well, it used to be a church, Richard told me they used to be churches, but they are not anymore. They are they are nightclubs, which is super strange for me, coming straight forward from Italy. <laughs> Imagine that. And then you find something which is interesting for you. For me, this is the canal, and you start to research it. Like you start to understand it. You start to collect information. So I went to the library. I made some research about the canals. I saw a lot of old pictures and photographs about the old boats, the system, how they used it. Eventually they built it in the middle 18th century. And the reason why is because the area was an industrial area back in that time. So they wanted to bring a lot of heavy stuff from one point to another, from one city to another. But with road, it was really difficult, it was too heavy or it was too fragile. For example, they were making kettles from porcelain and in the road they were breaking. So they figured out if they're making this water system, they can bring a lot of stuff and it's not going to break. It's really amazing. I really love it. It's super smart. But secondly, I talked to Nick, who is working at the Canal and River Trust which is an organization who are taking care of the canals here in the area. We went for a small walk next to the canals and he explained me well, how's this history of the canals, how they built it. They built the canal system throughout the whole country and the longest one, the biggest one, is in Birmingham. So that's why I'm here. This is the junction, this is the first uh, part of the Grand Union Canal. So if we continue walking in that direction, if we walked for about a week really fast, we'd end up in London at Camden Locks. What Canal and River Trust have done in the last year or so is we've tried an experiment in that we had a lot of problems with graffiti appearing all over buildings and things along the canal. So in certain parts we've allowed graffiti artists to paint their art on pieces of wall that we've said it's okay for you to paint on. The important thing is that, you know, the canal itself is a really beautiful place. The water is really beautiful, and the nature around it is really beautiful. The people are not using it well, or they are not using it at all. So here you can really get a sense for how um, the contrast between nature recolonizing the waterway um, and the old industrial use of it. So if you look from where we're looking now, you look behind me, you can really see uh, this is a, an, a bus depot, a bus garage, um, and you can see another factory in the background. You can see the more recent kind of colonisation of the space by urban graffiti artists. So you can see examples of graffiti and street art all the way along the canal in the city. But if we then turn and look this way, this gives us a complete contrast. You can see how even these really urban spaces in the city centre are being recolonised by nature. There are some parts like in the center when there are bars and, and houses so they are close to the, to the nature, to the canal. But there are parts where they are, no one's using it or they are not using eventually properly. Just look at this, it's horrible. And they should because they have this fantastic thing. Hello little dogs, what's up? Just chilling. Someone worked with it, someone's still working with it, so you should take care of it and not throwing garbage into the water. That's insane. That's insane. If I'm not uh, collecting information about the canals, I'm, I'm trying to understand the people here. There's a lot of really different 
areas and buildings like buildings next to each other which looks completely different which built it in a really really different time so it's really you know it's not coherent and I'm experiencing the boat life which is amazing the lights they are completely different compared to Italy because that I'm living next to the next to water uh, there's a lot of beautiful moments here that I really like obviously I will show you some news what is happening here how I'm experiencing the place and how I'm trying to make some art because it's a lot of work I hope that the one month is going to be enough so stay tuned to the first video what I made when I arrived watch it here and that's it so see you soon bye